Madden 25 gamers welcome to today's video guys today we are talking about red zone defense gosh man red zone is tough to defend right I mean literally it seems like all they ever have to do is just dive in and it's just wide open and uh, today we're gonna make that a little bit easier for you so we're just gonna uh, come out here just basic uh, like a basic set that you might see down in the red zone so something like a strong close or you know something like that and uh today's we're going to focus on you know how to stop the run and the pass and, and all that from there all the quick stuff so the play that i like out of nickel 35 for my money it, it is cat blitz to roll especially if it's like on like the three you have to stop the run i go cat blitz to roll but uh you know if i want to maybe if they may be passing more likely to pass I go with the Prowl Bear 2, and uh, the setup is very simple. You want to base a line, you want to spread your linebackers, you want to shift your defensive line to the right, and then you want to take these safeties that are in deep blue zones, and you can put them in hook zones. And uh, you can use her, I mean, I like to kind of use her this uh, Ilka guy, but you could use her however you want, and you'll see, I mean, here we'll try to throw it, and you'll see you'll get some A-gap pressure. And, uh, you know, obviously if I'm using Ilka, you know that may not be open so you want to make plays with your user as well but uh, just it takes away a lot of uh, a lot of quick passes and uh, especially if you like you bring them down it's like because you can bring them down in the hashes kind of let them flare out a little bit and here I mean we'll just show you a basic play but the idea is it's it's a confusing coverage hopefully it will mess make them throw it quick you know something like this that they might do if they see oh he's blitzing everyone on his team that's what it's going to look like because you're blitzing all your linebackers down and then you know all of a sudden they try to throw it quick to Harvin and Nelson was right there so I mean it's you know so another thing you could do you don't even have to put them in uh, hook zones you could just shade coverage down and I mean for some reason these deep blues just do a nice job in the red zone trying to get in the way and stuff but uh, Harvin's just saying screw you but I'm telling you guys I mean it really does work um, you know they're not going to force it. And the, the cool part about this is, you know, in Madden, they're not going to force it as much as, like, we think they do. So we can actually get away with just having guys in the area, even though they don't react to the ball. So that's why I like this play a lot. It just kind of gives the illusion of coverage. Um, another thing that I like about this play is, like, if they run the ball, like if they run, like, a quick toss or something, uh, typically, this this play does a really good job at the corners coming out off, coming off the blocks, and, and making a play against the run. Um, another thing I like about this play, like if they run, say they run like a halfback force type of run, it doesn't do too bad of a job at, at kind of stopping that because um, you get the free release corners, so they can come off and tackle. Uh, another thing that you could potentially do is, you know, maybe. Whoops, I uh, messed that up. But uh, maybe just kind of say, okay, I'm going to drop a lot of guys back and just drop all your linebackers back baseline twice and say, you know, I'm just going to drop a lot of guys in coverage, try to get those quick throws shut down. Just a lot of flexibility with this play because all those linebackers are blitzing. So, like, you drop them all back into yellow zones now, and now you still have two guys blitzing. But the cool part about it is, you're going to have that much better coverage, and now they're like, oh, I can't find anyone, I can't find anyone open, can't find anyone open, and they're rolling, 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 and then they have to throw it up in the back of the end zone. So just a couple of different ideas of a red zone defense with this Proud Bear 2, but uh, that's what I've got for you. Guys, full game tomorrow. Can't wait to do it for you. Cincinnati Bengals going to be a great week. Cannot wait to show you this full game in action. This scheme is really, really good, guys. And uh, also, uh, real quick, if you guys are still listening, which I really appreciate it, I want you to watch tomorrow's video because the depth chart is so essential to what we're doing because if you don't set the depth chart up right, you're not going to be able to stop the run. Fact. Not opinion. Fact. Because you have to have certain guys in certain situations because you have to have them – like certain guys blitz better than other guys or certain guys play hook zones better than play deep zones. So make sure you go over to that depth chart podcast tomorrow. Watch it before you watch the gameplay and before you try this out for yourself. I would appreciate that. I think you would actually appreciate it long term because I think it's going to help you out. But uh, check out that depth chart podcast for me. Thanks, guys.